have an appointment with adventure. Wow! Red Pontiac Catalina. Red Pontiac Catalina. Yeah, this car is pretty fast. Got a lighter in the back. Luxury car! Do you want something or are you just poking me with that big stick? She must really like you to be poking at you with that stick. Yeah! You know, you quit flicking those salad peas at me and spitting watermelon seeds at me and hurting me with cigarette lighters. It's because you're such a wuss. I've been called crazy by more people than you are! What? Psycho, huh? Uh, yeah, my mom's in an institution. Hey! 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 Okay, pull over for the next drifter we see. Yeah, I know she stole the car. That's a pretty big car for such a little lady. Blow off! And he gave her a gun. When the bullet hits the bone, it crawls up the bone like a spider. I thought you said your dad was an alcoholic. He is. He's an alcoholic and he likes to shoot guns. I do too. You probably think that I'm some kind of straight lace button down straight as an arrow, by the book, traditional's conformist. No, you're not. <laughs> Joke, huh? Well, you know what the trouble with your humor is? It's not funny. To hell with this direction. Wait, you don't look so good. Before I'm asleep. Yeah. Oh, no. Hey, Peterson, you want to sell that old Buick? Can't take it with you. Who would take the olds to the conference? We're driving there in this? Yeah, and another thing, uh, my daughter, Lisa, is coming with us. She's been expelled from school and... Hey, Linda, I'm Mark. <laughs> <laughs> laughing because you called her Linda. Linda's a funny name and she knows it. I like to take back roads through the uh, homesteads of our agricultural proletariat. Nice car! You want to sell it? <laughs> if I had wanted to go to the tractor pull myself, I would have gone myself. Baby snakes, there's no snake strokes! Wow, my aunt never told me about this. She just said this car leaked fluids. I don't know, I pick up anyone anytime. I just don't want to pick up anyone right now. I tell you, I stuck my head out in an acid rain and my face didn't melt. Let's just say I butter my toast in moderation. The very edge of the dining area. But it doesn't matter how good that research is. You gotta get it published. Yeah, I heard your research is really cutting edge. What's wrong with your daughter? All I said was cutting edge. Oh, yes. Anybody that says cutting edge is funny, and she knows it. It's a beautiful car. Yeah, but you couldn't have a picnic on the trunk of that car. Everything would just roll right off. You're not going to leave your dad back there. You really need to get out more. You've got a full mouth on this one. Oh, I know. And it tastes like danger. Well, fine then! Uh, you, you look like a stranger. They don't like strangers around here. I've been taking my medication. I've been taking extra medication. You can tell him I've taken all of it. That's what you can tell him. Okay, fine. You can pick up drifters for all I care. Yeah, all right. Hey, do you think you can uh, give me a ride somewhere? Yeah, no. Yeah, well, I know a lot of people think that cold fusion is a pipe dream. You know, the waitress at this restaurant, you call that a tip? See, Mr. Professor, this is a nice little restaurant. We can all get something to eat. You better check your wallet again. What's a belly gun? Um, it just means it's a little gun. It's just a gun you can hide in your belly. You know, we'd have a lot more room and comfort in here if we could move this television into the trunk. And the tire. My dad has a gun. My brother shoots it. My dad says my brother can hit a monkey's ass. You sure this tire can't go in a trunk? Oh yeah, my dad has a gun too. It's an M16 assault rifle. 
that shoots bullets that climb up your bones like spiders. My dad shoots it all the time. We live by an airport. Hey! That's the damnedest daughter a man ever had. Hey, what's the matter? Don't you know how to drive defensively? What do you think the berm's for? Yeah, see how this car handles in an emergency maneuver? A lesser car would have been off the shoulder like a French nightgown. You have good insurance? Ah, uh, insurance is for bad drivers. 